What's going on guys? My name is Rapid Instincts and I'm playing Battlefield 3 as always. And before we get into this commentary, this is something you guys have never seen and that is me flying a helicopter. Yeah, Rapid can fly. <laughs> so, unless there's a light pole in the way and then that pretty much ruins my fun. But anyways, I managed to miss this one. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I, this is a flawless gameplay. Uh, I'm in the Little Bird. I'm um, playing with Wake Rider. Uh, we played a few matches uh, night before last. And before you guys start saying, oh, you didn't play the objective and you're supposed to be a PTFO or. Yes, I know. I don't really play the objective, but I'm relaying information down to Wake Rider because we're in the Xbox Live chat party. Let him know where guys are. I'm clearing out like where the flags are so that way he can go capture them. And I'm also telling him where tanks are so that way he can invade them or take them out. But he was the assault, so he couldn't take them out. So anyways, past that, or before this, uh, I cut this into pieces. I cut out uh, like the parts where I'm just flying around and there's nobody. Uh, so I cut that out so if it jumps, that's why. I cut out the boring parts, but it's still one continuous gameplay. So anyways, new gameplay. You guys have never seen me in a helicopter. And now something else new, a real life story. I thought I would share with you guys. It's pretty disgusting. So if you guys are, if you guys have a weak stomachs, I advise you not to watch it. Or if you guys are like, if you're easily grossed out, do not watch this. This is absolutely disgusting. Um, uh, I don't know what made me think of to do this commentary and tell you guys about this experience. And let me let tell you, it was an experience. That is for sure. So, anyways, I was 14 years old. This was five years five years ago. So just so you guys know. Uh, I was in 8th grade, I had a girlfriend, uh, it was my first, I guess, real girlfriend. So, anyways, we would, we dated for months, we dated, I think it was like 8 months, and then uh, we broke up because I moved schools. So, we had, uh, we had been dating for about a month and a half, two months, and we went to the theaters every Friday, that was like a ritual. So we'd go to, to the uh, movies every Friday, and sometimes Saturdays as well. So, um... We'd always sit in the same spot. It was, it, like I'm saying, it was like a ritual. Uh, so we would always sit in the same same uh, seats, and I would always we are we would always get a little frisky. I can't. I said I, so you guys are probably like, oh, you said I was, so was, she wasn't really into it. No, we both would. So, anyways, we would get a little frisky while we were in the theaters. You know, it's dark. We'd always sit the furthest away from people. So, anyways, we'd get a little frisky. I would rub her it, outside of the pants, guys. Outside of the pants. So. You know, I was 14, so you know you're it's, you're in that mindset. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get me some some girls. You know, <laughs> you had you you had that, but it was more than just you know just I guess uh, sexual. I guess just being selfish. I guess it was more than that. I wasn't worth it just be, just for that. You know, I actually liked this girl. So so anyways, about a month. After, because you know, it was like a month and a half that I, that I started doing that. She would let me. She would actually pull. My, we would hold hands to begin with, and then she would pull it over. And I was like, oh yeah, this girl's. I guess uh, what would it be? D T T down to touch. <laughs> so I guess that's what it could be called. Yes, yeah, that's, that's something new. Um, so she was she was uh, D T T. So I knew that. So I so I would. So I had done that for about I don't know three weeks. So I thought it was time to take it to the next level. In my three weeks, I mean, like you know, uh, Fridays, sometimes Saturdays, you know, like that. Not not every day. It wasn't. It was nothing like that, guys. So I thought I would take it to the next level and actually go inside the pants this time. So I did. She she didn't stop me. Uh, so you know, I, I it, it was my first time, so I didn't know like what to expect, what it would be like, you know. So. I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is pretty this is pretty nice. This is, I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So you know, I'm I'm still sitting there. You know, we're in a theater and we're doing this. So keep that in mind. So I guess the danger level made it even more exciting uh, for getting caught. Uh, could you imagine that two 14 year olds up there like pretty much doing it? Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, um, so I'm sitting there and you know I'm rubbing her goodies and uh. I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, you know, I've all, you know, I've heard that it's wet, but this is like super, super wet. This is like, I don't like a waterfall. So, you know, I, I don't think anything of it. You know, I'm just thinking, okay, I, I don't, I guess it's how it's supposed to be. I guess everybody, nobody emphasized on how it would be. So, I'm sitting there, and I can, and you know, we continue to 
keep watching the movie as this as this whole ordeal is going on. People are walking up and down the aisle, and but we can keep it under wraps pretty well. So as the people are walking by, I'm still sitting there and I'm you know I'm rubbing up on our goodies and stuff. So the movie had like I don't even know like 30 minutes left, and I did that for like 30 minutes because you know it was it was new to me. So I mean it was like playing a video game that you liked for the first time. You know time just flies. So if what may have felt like 30 minutes to me could have been a, the whole movie at an hour and a half. So she's probably sitting there, man, he sure is doing this for a really long time. So it felt like 30 minutes to me. I don't know. I mean, it was it was fun. You know, video games, you lose your time. Uh, so I guess you lose track of time with uh, the whole uh, lady part situation <laughs> as well. So the movie ends. And uh, we, we, uh, we leave. And as we walk out of the uh, auditorium, she says, I have to go to the restroom. And I say... Well, I do too. So, and I really I had to go as well. Uh, not to play with myself, believe me, I didn't. I would not do that in a public restroom. That is disgusting. That's how you get like AIDS or like herpes or maybe even crabs. So, and I do not want any of that, believe me. Uh, and whoever says that you can get rid of crabs by shaving your pubes, they are liars. They are oh, they are liars. But okay, just kidding, guys. Just kidding. I've never had crabs. Uh, so, anyways, she goes to the restroom. I go to the restroom as well. And since the movie had just ended. And uh, there was two auditoriums playing the same movie at the same time. So the restroom was pretty packed full of guys. So I'm, I, I had my hand in my pocket as soon as the movie was over. I didn't look at it. I didn't know what to expect. you know. So I go, I go into a stall because I felt that would be appropriate. you know. For one, I don't want to be sitting next to a guy peeing in the urinal right next to me that's like, I don't know, like three inches away from me. So I think that's pretty weird. So I go into a stall. I pull my hand out of my pocket. And I see blood everywhere. I was like, oh, no, I killed a vagina. So, no, just, <laughs> just kidding. I pretty much knew what it, that, what it was. So it freaked me out at first. Like, I, I seriously jumped and I pulled my hand away. And I was like, oh, my God, what, what happened? Oh, I, I killed her. She, she's bleeding eternally right now. So, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it freaked me out. I'm 14 year, years old, touching a girl for the first time. And the first time you touch her, it, she happens to be on her period. So... I had no idea like how all the lady parts worked. She wasn't wearing like a pad or anything, so you know I would probably figure it out. You know, as or you can think she would have told me, but she didn't, and that's I guess that's what freaked me out the most because I figured she would have stopped me, but she didn't. So I'm sitting there, and you know I'm you know 14. You experiment like we were experimenting. So I was like, I wonder what this smells like. Yeah, I know what you guys are probably doing. You probably you guys are probably covering your mouth and going, no, Oh no, dude, you didn't. You didn't. So yes, I, I I I smelt it, and believe me, guys, it's like the fish market. Believe me, oh my God, the worst smell ever. I wouldn't wish that smell on anyone. That is that was just putrid. It was disgusting. It was nasty. Ugh. But then you know I smelled it. And I was like, oh, that smells terrible. I wonder what it tastes. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Hundred percent. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Just thought I would get you guys with that one. But, so, I mean, it, it grossed me out. And that's not even the end of the story. You guys would think, oh, okay. So I go, and I go to wash my hands. And it seems like everybody just wanted to wash their hands. I know every guy in, uh, that goes to the theaters, or every guy in general, doesn't wash their hands after they use the restroom. But it seemed like everybody wanted to wash their hands uh, that time. So I'm standing in line. I've got my hand in my pocket. So, yeah, I've got a bloody period hand in my pocket. So... You know, I'm sitting there uh, in line and I'm waiting. I get, I finally get up there, and the guy next to me is watching me as I wash my hands. I want to know what he was thinking. He was like, "Oh my God, this guy murdered somebody in the in the theater. There's a there's a dead body laid in there somewhere." I'm just, like, I'm I'm not even exaggerating this, guys. My whole hand. It wasn't just the fingers. It was like the like. So I don't even know. It got it like got on my palm. I didn't. I know for for a fact I didn't put my whole fist in there. Believe me. So. <laughs> my whole hand even the back of it that's like yeah you guys are probably you guys are probably like oh he's he's over exaggerating no it was my whole hand i was caught right handed so so anyway i i'm sitting there washing my hands the guy next to me is watch watching me wash my hands i really want to know what's going through this dude's mind so i'm watching it i'm scrubbing it with the soap i i you know with hot water it's not coming clean it stained my hand, so it's not coming clean. I'm scrubbing it, so I, I get it all semi clean without the red tint. <laughs> so about it took about um, 
when I got home, I had to go. Yeah, I had to go the rest of the uh, date with a semi-red hand, and it didn't smell clean either. Let me believe me, it was, it was a terrible smell. It, like it's it, I it stayed on my hand. The smell did too. It wasn't as strong. Because if it was, I would, I would have just uh, let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> so I get home after the date. I scrubble with Clor the uh, Dawn with Clorox, and it finally comes clean. Something, oh yes, it didn't stain my hand eternally. So, anyways, guys, <laughs> that's the end of the story. It was, yes, I know, pretty disgusting. Um, but this is where I go down in the helicopter. Uh, I finally got shot down. The in my engineer got shot out. Drum bones, my cousin. He got shot out. But if you notice right here, as I go to land, um, let's see. I know I just totally just like jumped the commentary, but if you see I jump, there he is. He just spawned and started repairing, and he goes into the water. <laughs> but anyways, that's a, that's one of my real life stories. I thought I would share with you guys. Believe me, I have a few more, but it's not like that. It's of me, I guess, walking in uh, on my parents <laughs> that I guess I could share with you guys. If you guys, I don't know if you'd be interested, but if you guys would want to hear a story like that. So, anyways, guys, that's the end of this one. 26 and 0, flawless little birds. Well, semi flawless little bird. I got the two kills with this, with this saw, but I didn't show that. I just cut it out. But, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. Follow me on Twitter, friend me on Battlelog. Check out the channels that I put in the description, and I'll talk to you guys later.